you look at uh, projects today, the average time frame for moving a project from expiration to production is extended out to about 20 years from about seven years. And the biggest single factor in that is, is the permitting time frame, the regulatory process that you have to work your way through. And uh, so that's become a, a major factor in time frames for project developments. And definitely the focus of the industry is you know, to make sure those processes work smoothly and effectively. They still got to be thorough, but just make sure that they are working effectively so you can get projects built and developed in a reasonable time frame. So Midas Gold has uh, essentially completed a pre-feasibility study in December, and we're now moving forward to uh, look at getting into the regulatory process, file our permit application, uh, and start that ball rolling. So we've been, uh, you know, we're preparing that the first uh, six months of this year, and then what we're doing is meeting with the local communities, NGOs, other stakeholders, the regulators, the state, the county, and, and basically explaining the project in advance and seeking input into that project. So when, you know, when we decide and to file, we're presenting a project that people understand and they appreciate what's gone into it and they understand you know, why certain things have been done and maybe why certain things haven't been done. Yeah, I think the, uh, the big thing about this project is a brownfield site. So it's been mined off and on for 100 years. There's extensive vet brownfield disturbance. There's a significant number of legacy impacts on the project. Abandoned open pits, tailings, waste dumps, uh, all kinds of things like that. And as part of the application, we're going to remediate all of that prior disturbance. Uh, which is very extensive and so we're going to pick everything up and clean it up and restore the site to a significantly better situation than it is now. Brownfield basically, Greenfield, Brownfield, Greenfield is a, an untouched site. Uh, Brownfield is a site that's been previously mined and disturbed. So the, the difference is, you know, there's been extensive historic mining activity on the site.